sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, first pie guy here. I'm going to do a video on the Easy Digi uh, circuit board here. Now, this is for ham radio, like APRS, wing link, and the list goes on and on. So, <clears throat> we're going to do a two-part at least, maybe a three-part uh, video on how to wire this up and get this to work. Now, we're going to be wiring this up for a Bofung radio. A lot of people use them, a starter radio, whatnot, so I figured let's do one, and uh, we'll set this up for, like, APRS. So, I'm going to throw a link in the description to my website for where to get this, and the other things that I'm using, and some pictures on how to wire this up. So, if we look here, we have our audio to PC, audio from PC. Then we got our PTT ground, then our uh, DTR RTS and PTT high, and our audio and mic ground and whatnot. So we're going to be using that. We're also going to be using this guy. Now this is a a TTL or a two thirty two. And a 482, 485, I mean, USB adapter. And it has ground, RTS, DTR, 5 volts, 3 volts, and so on. So we're going to be using that. Then we're going to be using a USB sound card. Then I have this old... Uh, just a generic Bofung microphone that you can get up off of Amazon or possibly eBay. I went ahead and uh, just unhooked everything. And uh, we have the connector there for the radio and our four wires. Red, black, white, and uh, green. Which will be hooked up on the Digi. Then we'll be hooking up our audio coming from the USB over to here then from our serial USB over to this side and uh, what I think I'm going to do is unsolder these connectors and just solder the wires directly to the board because we only need two wires per each one then we'll have the wires coming off of this guy. Then I think what I'll do, since this has so many connectors on it, pins on it, I'm going to unsolder all them and just solder directly right to the board of what we're going to use. Now, some people throw this in a box and come out with a sound card and or a serial connector or USB plus your wires. But what I might do is mount this in the box, use a USB hub, something like such. And other than having so many wires come out, we can just plug them in, come out of the box with uh, one cable coming from here to the radio and one coming from the USB hub that will get plugged into the computer and tie these together all in the box so we don't have so many things coming outside of the box. But that's a personal preference, whatever you want to do. So, like I said, I'll throw a couple uh, pictures and the links and everything on my website for this information and uh, stay tuned for part two and we'll uh, get started.